Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video, we're going to have a look at questions 25 to 27 of section 3 of the pink booklet. So this is a question about genetics, and we're talking about, in this case, an X-linked uh, gene. So we're told that very early in the development of mammalian females, one of the two X chromosomes normally present, and I think I'll just write this out, just remember here that females have two X chromosomes, and of course that means that males have an X and a Y chromosome. We'll come back to why that's important in a minute. We're told that one of these present in each somatic cell becomes deactivated. So deactivation is random and with maternal and paternal X chromosomes equally likely to be deactivated. All cells driving from this cell carry the same deactivated X chromosome. So you get localized patches of tissue and I think that's important to write out as well. So you get patches of tissue. And then some patches are gonna be from the maternal side and then some are going to be from the paternal side. And that's um, random, depending on which one was deactivated. A practical application of this is something called anhydrotic ectodermal dysplasia. And this is an inherited skin condition. And this is due to um, a recessive allele of a gene. Uh, and that gene is based on the X chromosome. So this is an X-linked condition. And I want to talk a little bit about um, why it's important to remember why that or it's important to remember that while women have two x chromosomes or females have two x chromosomes why that might not matter so if you've got two x chromosomes but only one of them is going to be expressed because the other one's been deactivated so we'll say this one is being deactivated then it means whatever gene is present on this one is going to be expressed so if the female has, let's say, on the deactivated gene, the dominant allele, and on the active gene, the recessive allele, because this has been deactivated, it doesn't matter. So you don't get any masking in this case. Because it's been deactivated, it doesn't matter if you have the recessive or the dominant allele on that side. You just need one copy of the recessive gene. And as long as it's the only one being expressed, then you can end up with this condition. And because in there's this random um, assignment of which one is going to be expressed. If the other one was expressed, and again, if we imagine that um, the one that is expressed in this case has the dominant um, allele, the patches that are derived from this type of cell and the patches that are derived from this type of cell will show two different phenotypes. And this will have um, an absence of sweat glands um, this top one will have an absence of sweat glands and the bottom one won't. And that's why you can end up with these patches of tissue. Okay, so 25, keeping all that in mind, says which one of the following is consistent with the information given. So let me just go over all of these. Um, A says patchy sweat gland distribution is found in males and females, but is more likely in males with the condition. So patchy sweat gland um, distribution wouldn't happen in males. And this is an important point for this question in particular, because you don't get these patches of um, different types of tissues in males, because of course there's only one X chromosome, so you can't have inactivation, um, meaning you don't get any patches in males. That's not something that happens in males, so it's not going to be A. B again says patchy sweat gland distribution is equally likely in both males and females. Males can't have sweat gland distribution, which is patchy, um, because they only have the one X chromosome, it will either have the dominant or the recessive, and every um, part of the skin will express either the dominant or the recessive allele. So you'll either have normal coverage of sweat glands or a complete um, absence of them. So it's not going to be B. C says only females with the condition exhibit patchy sweat gland distribution, and that does make sense with the information that's been given. So for 25, the answer is C, but just to rule it out, let's talk about D. It says only males with the condition exhibit patchy sweat gland distribution. And of course, again, males don't have um, this patchy distribution of tissue. Okay, so moving on to 26. It says which one of the followings is not consistent with the information given? So which one's not true? A says female with, females with AED can have the genotype um, recessive, recessive. Of course, this is true. Um, going back to our example before, if there is a recessive form of the gene, it doesn't matter which one's expressed because um, 
you're going to get patchy sweat gland distribution. If the if the recessive allele is present on either um, chromosome, it doesn't matter because you get random distribution of both. So females can have the genotype um, recessive recessive. B says males with AED cannot carry the dominant allele. Um, so of course they only have one opportunity to, to carry the gene. They've only got one X chromosome. And what that means is either they will have the dominant or the recessive. So they either don't have the condition or they do. So if you do have this recessive condition, you couldn't have the dominant allele. So that one's not, um, that one is true because it says males cannot carry it. So it's not going to be B in this case. C says with respect to AED, males can have the genotype um, dominant recessive. So obviously, as I said, they only have one X chromosome and so they can only have one allele. So um, the answer for this one is going to be C. But again, just to rule out answer D, it says with respect to AED, females cannot have the, or can have the genotype, um, this genotype here. I want to say SS, but it's, it's this genotype here, dominant recessive. So um, that is consistent with the information given. It's the example I started off with. They could have um, this dominant allele in some other chromosomes uh, because the other ones will also be expressed in different patches of tissue. And then finally for 27, it says, in which of the following is AED most likely to be characterized by a total absence of sweat glands? So I sort of alluded to this at the start. Um, a total absence of sweat glands would be present in men because they don't have patches. Um, so it's going to be males inheriting an X chromosome. So are they going to be inheriting a dominant or recessive allele? Well, again, it's sort of putting together what we've said so far. If they've only got one opportunity to carry this allele and they have the condition, then they must have the recessive allele because it's a recessive condition. And so it must be a male inheriting an X chromosome with the recessive allele from the mother. So the answer for this one, for number 27, is going to be B. So that was questions 25 to 27, bit of a tricky genetics question, but I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.